My name is Jim Moray. I have a PhD in biochemistry from the California Institute of Technology. I'm currently a Chief Executive Officer and Director of Research at Moore New Co., located in the Purdue Research Park in West Lafayette, Indiana. Moore New Co. is the commercial developer of the Oncoblot test. It was founded by myself and Dr. Dorothy Murray, who has participated equally in, in the research leading up to the development of the Oncoblot test. And Moore New Co. is basically, its mission is to bring the Oncoblot test into the clinic. I first uh, started showing interest in research at, a, I guess, an extremely early age. My first vivid recollection of being involved in research when I was about six years old. Curious about nature and this sort of thing all, all through grade school and high school. And I uh, booted off to the University of Missouri where I was going to school and worked in the agronomy department. And my first job was to spray weeds with the herbicide 2,4-D. Now 2,4-D is a really interesting compound. It kills weeds by causing them to undergo unregulated growth. They, they just grow, out, grow completely out of control and until they finally, they finally die. Each day I would, as I went to the farm to work, I'd stop and look at them and observe them. And uh, I became interested very much in what this herbicide was doing. So I uh, went to the library and read everything I could and I read one article uh, by a uh, scientists from the University of Michigan that commented also on the, on, on the unregulated growth part of it. And his thought was that if you could understand how 2,4-D killed plants, you could understand cancer. I'm Dr. David Taggart. I have a PhD in biochemistry from the University of Wisconsin in Madison. The Oncobot test is a blood serum test for the detection of the ENOX2 cancer marker. The ENOX2 cancer marker is produced by malignant cells and it's shed into blood serum we are able to take those blood serum proteins and we will separate them by using two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. In the first dimension, we separate proteins according to isoelectric point, and in the second dimension, we will separate proteins according to molecular weight. And then finally, we will detect all the ENOX2 proteins by using an ENOX2-specific antibody to detect all of the ENOX2 proteins on a membrane. And then according to where those proteins are in the membrane, we can then calculate their exact molecular weight and isoelectric point. We will compare all of the characteristics of any ENOX2 proteins detected versus a database that we've developed by analyzing the serum of people with clinically confirmed cancer. And in this way, not only can we detect ENOX2, which is indicative of cancer presence, but also assign a tissue of origin to any cancer that is detected. The ultimate goal is to utilize this technology to prevent cancer or to reduce cancer from a, an acute illness, life-threatening and almost universally fatal, to a chronic disease that can be detected early and treated early and cured. I don't know if cancer will ever be completely eliminated. But with major technological advancements, such as the Oncobot test, I think that we've taken a major step towards that goal.